But they, uh, I remember when we were down two to one against the Devils in 1994, it was not an easy day for us. And uh, the leaders of our, of our group, everybody knows them, Kevin Moe, uh, uh, Messier, McTavish, Booker Boom, great, uh, Anderson, and they all, uh, we, had a, we had a good practice, and they, uh, when it was uh, time for ga game day, we all uh, bounced back, and they, uh, everybody knows that we came back. And 20 years ago, probably the greatest hockey game I've ever been to, 3-3, three, three, overtime. Tell me what was going on in the locker room when they scored, the Devils scored that goal with only a few seconds left. What was the, what was the environment, and who... Who were the leaders in that situation? Because that must have been unbelievable, thinking you were already there, and then all of a sudden, with only a few seconds left, it gets taken away. Uh, we were about two minutes to go. I was looking at the clock, and it's the slowest clock ever. Two minutes to go, you're about to go to the Sunday Cup Finals. And I told uh, my friend Brian Newman, said, we are going to do it. It's a step. There's a lot of times left on the clock. And the Rangers' way, there's always a dramatic way at the end of the game. And uh, for sure, seven seconds to go. Uh, they scored of the most quiet building I ever experienced before. I don't think I'll ever, I'll ever experience something like that. You were I mean, uh, I've never seen anything like uh, even in the intermission. You could, I mean, we were in the bathroom. You can know, an arranger game like silence. We were just in hockey shock. It was very quiet in the dressing room. As I was one of the youngest guy in the team, I was looking for leaders to step up, but you have to go through your routine for the 18 minute span in between periods. And the 10 minute mark, uh, Kevin Lowe got up, Messi got up, all the, all the leaders that we have, and they've been ex they experienced that in the past. Many, many times, that's why they won six Stanley Cups, five Stanley Cups before with the Edmonton Orders, and they lost a few finals against the, uh, the Islanders in the past, so they met. Is there immense pressure? With everybody breathing on you, you know you make one mistake, it could be the game. It's a tough time of the season, obviously. It's a, there's so much tension. and But the players we group, they all, they all gather together, 25 players and the organization, the coaching staff. Today, it's an off day for them, or just a light skate. And they they, uh, they take it down to another level today. But they, uh, the players who hasn't played well last night, they put a lot of pressure on themselves to perform next game because they look at the sheets, they know they didn't score last night or they were minus two or minus three with no shots on net. So their players are proud, those players are very proud athletes and they're gonna do anything in their power to put uh, the pressure on their shoulder.